So is your anchor stronger than your storm? So we must have an anchor because the storms come standard in this life. Sometimes the storms come as a direct result of consequences of poor choices we made, and so the storm comes. Sometimes storms come like at the hand of someone who has hurt us, the hand of careless people, and those storms come. And sometimes the storms come like directly as the hand of God, not as punishment from God, because the punishment that for our sin is death. And so God put the punishment on his son. That's why we say Christ forgave our sins. So when those storms come, that's not a punishment because if it's punishment, he'd be dead. And the good news for us is that we have Christ and he didn't stay dead because he's more powerful than death and the grave because he's Jesus. So when the storm comes from God, it's an opportunity for us to grow. God's giving us a chance through those storms to find our anchor of hope, an anchor like hope for the soul. Hope like an anchor for the soul. And sometimes sometimes storms just come and we don't know why. And, and we may never know why, but we give peace through that storm if we have hope in Christ. That's the peace that passes all understanding. So, and so I ask, is your anchor stronger than your storm? Whatever reason those storms come, do you have a strong, firm anchor? The book of Hebrews chapter 9, the writer of Hebrews says it like this. He says that, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul. It's firm and secure. It enters into the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where our forerunner, Jesus, has entered on our behalf. So this is the good news and this is the hope I have. So I hope that you have this great faith, this great hope as an anchor for your soul. So as you go through this life and go through the storms, may our God of faith and hope and love Richly bless you.